Hi, this is Robin here again. This is just a quick tutorial to talk about what I expect from how to present your assignment um, concerning UML diagrams. It's really to do with how to export and import effectively your diagrams from AgitDraw into Word or any other word processor you might use. Right, so the first thing to think about is a front page for your assignment. And it's quite important to have a front page with detail. Which I should talk about later. With each UML diagram type, I would expect one or two pages of narrative. UML is not a complete specification. You need to specify a little more than what's in the diagram. You discuss ambiguities and problems you had with the narrative I gave you um, and how you interpreted it. And if there were omissions that you reinterpreted in a particular way and developed. Your Magic Draw diagrams, first thing is, in Magic Draw, you can export them in two ways. You can export them in a quick and dirty um, cut and paste way, um, or you can actually save each one as a, a picture file and then import into Word the actual file. I find this second method a little more um, complex and faffy, does produce better results. Within Word, you need to consider various things. First of all, how you're going to paste the um, pictures in. Um, Again, you can just choose paste and paste the picture in directly from the clipboard, or you might actually choose a particular paste option. Along in, with that in Word, there's also text layout options. You need to think whether you're going to have text running around the pictures or just have pictures banged flat on the page. Also in Word, you might consider about the actual layout of the page. Do you want some pages to be portrait and some pages to be landscaped? Again, this does help me read the document a great deal. Let's consider the front page of the Word document first. Here we are. Here's our title page. And I expect our title page to have your name, the date, the group, the course you're on, which unit it is, the assignment for, your ID number, and as I said, the total number of pages. And for each page, I would expect to have a page number at the bottom of it. So that's vitally important. It's very simple to add pages in Word. You just go to Insert. And at the bottom, there along, there's Insert Page Number. You can choose where you want to put the page number. So it's dead easy to insert a page number. The actual layout of the document, I'd expect all the diagrams to be in one single Word document, and I'd expect you to use headings and subheadings if possible. This is very easy to use headings in Word. Just go to the various places that you've written your text. So heading, say so here, an introduction, we want to make that a heading. So we just choose in our home tab, heading, there we are. So heading one, we'll make that. Say we've got another section with our class diagram. Oh, sorry, I forgot. First of all, we'd have a use case diagram. Another heading one. And our class diagram. Another heading one. And a sequence diagram, probably. Another heading one. Then we might have several sequence diagrams which are basically fragments, details of that overview. So we'd have those as a subheading. There we are. And then a state diagram. And we might want to write a conclusion about what we thought of Magic Draw and the assignment in UML. So, once we've actually created those headings and written the text and put our pictures in, it's very useful to just go to the front again, click where we want our table of contents in, and then we just go to References, Table of Contents, References, Table of Contents, and there we are. It's automatically generated a table of contents. If we move the pages around, we've got anything we can automatically just right click on there and update field. And that would update anything 
would have changed. Right, let's just look a little more at importing pictures into Word. Here we are in Magic Draw with a, a UML class diagram. And this is going to talk about how to prepare the diagram to export it into Word and one or two tricks that actually improve the look. First of all, we notice that we have a lot of white space around here. The see gets to get as much as possible up to the top left hand corner. So if we highlight our actual diagram, which is uh, there basically, and then click on it, and then drag it all up as far as we can to the top left hand corner. There we are. Now we can actually move what's known as a frame up there as well. So now we have our diagram in a sensible space. And now if we click on our first lens, there, we can actually see our diagram in a sensible position. And when we export this, we'll just export this area rather than lots of white space. To export our image, we now go to Edit, and we can either copy a picture as an EMF image or a JPEG image. Um, EMF images don't seem to be produced as well as JPEG images. We'll choose an EMF image there, then go to our Word document, and we'll paste it in for the time being a new page so we can compare it. Control V covers it in. And there we are. Now you can notice how that the text isn't that clear. It's not really that good. It looks a little bunched up. I'll just delete that. We'll try the other option in Magic Draw. Let's edit. Copy as JPEG this time. Back to Word, Control V, copies that in. Does that look any better? I think that's a better result. For an even better result, if we go back to Magic Draw, we can go this time as File, Save as Image. And if we choose here Windows Metafile Format, that's WMF. We go to Word and then insert picture. Right, so we now can see Manage All Projects where we saved the file. And if we insert that, see what it looks like there. And I think that looks much better. So you'll notice here we can actually make the diagram larger or smaller. Quite happily and it doesn't really change its quality I think that's very useful right, we'll just do control C to copy that diagram in Word and I just want to show you something about actual the layout so say if we had some text here and we insert our diagram that looks pretty boring we had a, a diagram didn't really have as much as detail as this and we want to put some text around it all we do is click on the diagram, right click on the diagram, and we can see text wrapping. Choose text wrapping, and we say square. Now we have text around their diagram. I think that's quite useful. Lastly, we might have a diagram that's quite long and thin, and it means really within our document. It would be difficult to read. We'd have to turn it around 90 degrees. So an easy way to solve that problem is to create what's known as a section. And to do that, you just go just above where you want to put the diagram in. Page layout breaks. And we choose section breaks continuous. And we do the same below our diagram section breaks continuous then 
within those two section breaks, we click somewhere, and then we go to page orientation and change the orientation of that page. So now if we zoom out, look at our diagram, we can now see we've got that page in portrait mode and the other pages in landscape mode, which means we had a very complex class diagram and decided to draw it to us an oblong shape. We can actually make it much larger on that page than we could on an ordinary page. I hope these tips have helped you, give you some ideas how you can improve the layout of the assignments you submit. Bye.